I like cheese. Hi, it's Leo, the med student who's going to actually start reviewing cheese. So in this video, we're going to do a cheese review. I'm going to go through some cheese that I've bought uh, in this first episode of where we review some cheese. Um, we've, got, well, we've got a sparkling water, cleanse the palate. Um, so yeah, yeah, I've had a bit of an illness, so I'm losing my voice, so I might not be on point, but let's have a look. We're going to start off this uh, series with this cheese that I got from Lidl. Um, it's three different varieties. These are smoked cheese, as you can see. Um, I'm pronouncing this wrong. It's made by a brand called Milbonna. Um, and it's like pre-sliced cheese, as you can see. They're all pre-sliced. So yeah, let's see what this cheese is all about. See what flavors are in it. Uh, do I recommend it? What am I going to give out of 10? All these questions you've got about this cheese, I'm going to be answering them. So what flavors have we got? Um, these are all smoked cheese. So we've, I've got the plain, this is just your bog standard plain cheese. Um, there is 10 slices. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and on the, I don't know, I don't know who comes up with this strength scale, but it's a two out of 10. These are all actually two out of 10. This is smoked cheese and ham. That's also a two out of 10. So it's not very strong. Well, it's either not very strong or really not that strong, depending on whether or not the scale goes from five, it starts at five or is at 10. We have no way of telling. They've just not given us that information. Um, there's 200 grams of cheese. So I've got about 600 grams here. And I think there were 225 each. So I've, pay, I've paid about six pounds 75. Uh, for this just over half a kilogram of cheese. So I don't know if that seems all right. Um, it's got the German flag on it, so I presume it might have been made in Ger Germany. And it uses EU and non-EU milk. So there's a bit of bit of milk mixing going on. Milky action. <clears throat> now have a look at the um, nutritional contents of this cheese. So yeah, it's got it's got kind of red and mainly red because it's cheese a lot of fat yeah i don't think i've gone through the flavor so i, I i've got a plain I've also got the smoked or the ham flavor so it's got bits of ham inside it um and the jalapeno so it's a bit, bit of a spicy twist on the smoked cheese this actually has the most saturated fat this one uh, and they've all got 10 slices, so we've essentially got 30 slices of cheese. I'm not gonna eat all of it now, but we're just gonna give it a test. Obviously, we can't be testing cheese without the right equipment. It could get dangerous. There might be tears. Uh, so look, we've got, our, got ourselves a fancy little cheese board with our utensils. Yeah. Not sure what any of this does. Uh, I'm not really actually a cheese expert, but we'll find out. Hopefully by the next episode my voice is alright because it's, it's a bit croaky. So we've got this little knife here. Little knife looking thing. Um, I don't know, it looks like a... It's like something you would apply like plaster to a wall with. And then a little chisel and it's kind of like a little chisel looking thing. And um, like just a spear, like a prongs. Um, all right, so what are we what are we going to go with first? So I'm actually get some sparkling water as you do. Right, I think there's no better way to start this video with than with the smoky cheese plain flavour. Um, this is two pound twenty five from Lidl. So there's Lidl branded cheese. Well, not Lidl branded cheese, but it's a branded cheese that I've probably only going to find in Lidl. Um, well, it says the words mellow and smoky, so that's describing the flavours. Uh, oh, it's got some ingredients on the back, so yeah, it's saying it's 200 grams. This actually goes out of date in three months, so it's, it's good until March. Uh, I'm not sure if that duration kind of becomes a bit smaller once you've opened it. Uh, well, so there's actually 71% cheese in this. 
water, butter, milk, protein, whey powder, potassium phosphates, polyphosphates, uh, may contain nuts, so if you've got a nut allergy, this may, may be the type of cheese you want to avoid because um, we don't want any anaphylaxis. Right, energy-wise, you'll be getting uh, 1,291 joules from this this uh, sachet of cheese. Um, yeah, it's just saying it's... Oh, the date is clarified, so it's good until March, but you need to consume within three days of opening it. So I guess after this video, I've got quite a lot of cheese that I'm going to have to be eating. Um, yeah, that's suitable for vegetarians. Cool, right, and storage-wise, you want to keep this cheese refrigerated, and uh, I did say that it was a little brand. It actually does have the little logo in the corner, so yeah, make of that what you will. So I'm definitely sure you're only gonna find this in little. <coughs> so if, if after this video, you're kind of uh, a bit interested, then Hopefully, right, I basically I filmed this video without my glasses on so I can't see the camera. So hopefully I don't knock anything over, you know. But yeah, let's just actually get on with the taste test because that's the part you want to see. So we're going to get our little knife. And we're going to slit the packaging. Oh, we've just, we've just punctured some of the cheese by accident. So I actually, my technique's just kind of going around one of the edges um, with a knife, like so. There we go. We should be able to fold that back and get the cheese out. I mean, there's, I didn't even have to go to go at it with a knife because it, look, it's actually got a little arrow in the corner saying you can actually peel peel the uh, the edge off. I'm gonna try that. Yep, that's probably the method I should have chosen. So now I've got packaging that's kind of in two parts, um, which is gonna make refrigeration or storage of this item a little bit a little bit more complicated. It's not what we want, is it? All right. Let's see. Right, so we should, yeah, exposing as, not, as much as we need, and we're just gonna have a look off at this, what? So, yeah, it, is, it looks very plain to me. It's got no kind of, it's got nothing in it. It's just kind of a, a, a beige color with a slightly darkening around the outside. All right, there's 10, it's a little bit, yeah. It's got actually got a hole in it, a little crater. <coughs> Smoky, so let's go, I'm just gonna use my hands. Got ourselves right. I mean, I need to start using these uten utensils. I'm not sure what they're for. Let's just try this. Let's try this. So, yes. You see, you've got you've got the cheese. My camera is just not going to focus. Something about this lens, it just doesn't focus. But it looks like like salami, honestly. Let's have a look. It smells a bit. It smells a bit like salami as well. It's smoked. Um, right, how are we going to go about this? We're going to give this a taste test. Um, I'm going to go for one of the edges, just... It's quite good actually, quite good. Oh. Yeah, I... I it, Tastes all right, actually. I mean, it's nothing amazing. I'm more of, I prefer my blue cheeses, to be honest, over any smoked cheese. And this looks like pre-cut. Like, I wasn't expecting like gourmet cheese from this packet, but I mean, something you want to put in a sandwich or maybe melt on a burger, you can't really go wrong. It tastes a bit like kind of manufactured cheese a little bit, but I'm not sure if it's like, I, don't, I really don't know how they made it, but Honestly, it's it's all right. It tastes, it's not very not very smoky. I mean, a little bit, but not not overwhelming. I mean, that's kind of indicated by the two strength. So you sort of know what you're getting yourself into with this cheese. Yeah, I mean, well, it's kind of falling apart where I've tried to use this, but I mean, I don't want this one to go to waste, so I'm going to eat the whole thing. But yeah. The outer, the outer rim is actually definitely edible. Uh, I'm not really too sure what it is. Cheese skin. <clears throat> I 
yeah, I mean, like, what am, what am I even doing? I'm just sat here reviewing cheese. My last video has been gaming. I'm trying to just find something niche on YouTube that I, I'm interested in. I'm like, I like, I like cheese. Yeah, I've, I've got this new cheese set for Christmas. So, like, why not just do a cheese video? Because uh, I don't even know the describing words. Like, is it, like, hops or kind of the aroma of the cheese? I don't know how cheese experts do it. I watched the movie The Menu, which is sick. It's actually on Amazon. No, it's not. It's on... It's on Disney Plus, um, and there's like a, it's a bit foodie, but I'm not a foodie. There. Do you know what this tastes like? Not cheese strings, but there's like another type of cheese, like kind of you peel called cheese strips, I think. Where they're kind of like rectangles that you peel. It tastes very similar to that with a little bit of smokiness, but not really that much. I mean, if I were to rate this plain cheese, the plain, the smoked plain cheese from Lidl, uh, the pre-cut stuff, I'd probably give this a, be fair to it, it's actually a five out of 10, obviously, I was not expecting like really nice cheese. It just looked like something you'd shove in a sandwich, put on a burger, pretty, tastes pretty mild. Um, it's fine. It's not like anything, it's not offensive. It's it kind of does the job. The packaging is quite easy to get into. So we are, you're giving this one a five. So I think we should move on now. So we're moving on to the uh, smoked cheese ham flavor. Do you want to see what the ham favor is like? <clears throat> I think we're more educated this time around. We are going to use the peel in the corner to kind of open this. Let's have a look. Ooh. There we go. This one actually contains, yep, same saturated fat and everything is, oh, a little bit less fat, a little bit less fat in this than the plain one, actually. Uh, everything else, pretty much the same packaging wise. Different colours, they're more of a red at the top rather than the blue. Um, that matters to anyone. Uh, and they describe it as smooth and smoky. And uh, right, so we'll just, we'll just give it, we'll just open it up a little bit, <clears throat> see what we're getting in for. So immediately, the, uh, the kind of the base cheese looks the same, but there's like ham sprinkled in. Look at this, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, this is pretty sick. Um, yep. Yeah. I mean, size-wise, uh, it's probably about three, three and a half inches. Uh, yeah, diagonally. Oh, like, diameter-wise. This one's actually got some three, three hole craters in it. Um, yeah, and as you can see, there's just this ham flaked in. I'm not sure if that's gonna affect the taste of the cheese. Or it's just there's just gonna be ham in it. I don't know. It might be the same cheese. We're gonna find out. This is exciting stuff, guys. All right. If, if anyone's made it to this this kind of point in the video, be sure to subscribe. I've got some more interesting cheeses lined up that we're gonna go through. Uh, and I mean, you want to be the first to view it. So subscribe, like, and I do what you want. Um, yeah. So we're moving on to the ham one. I mean, this honestly, this tastes very similar to the, uh, it's very similar to the plain cheese wise, but there's obviously, when you're chewing on it, you can taste just bits of ham. I think it makes it taste a little bit saltier than it, than the plain one, a little bit saltier. We've eaten the whole of the ham flavored one. I'm also gonna rate that a five out of 10. I don't think enough was different from the plain one to actually really kind of distinguish. So you, if you're gonna pick a pack up, you can probably go either or. If you're a vegetarian, obviously the plain one's there. If not, you might as well just go to ham. A little, tiny little bit more interesting than the plain one. Taste-wise, it's very similar. I wouldn't really like, if it was in a sandwich or anything, I wouldn't know the difference. I'd probably just go with the ham unless you're vegetarian. So that is my consumer advice uh, hopefully that's useful. But 
It's for the, it's the cheese you've all been waiting for. The jalapeno one. This one also shares a red packaging, same as the ham one. Slightly lighter in colour, maybe to symbolise the kind of the flames from the chilli. Um, this one interestingly has more fat, more saturates, or like, um, yeah, more salt as well. So yeah, a little bit more calories as well in this this one. Okay, let's get this one open. The exciting one. All right, let's see what we're, let's see what we're in for. All right, let's peel this back. See, there's all sorts of colours going on actually here. See, look, the base cheese same, but we've got some green and some red kind of flakes kind of in the middle of the cheese. Um, so it's probably the most interesting looking cheese. Smells exactly the same, a little bit artificial, um, but I didn't expect this to be anything like too fancy. So let's have it. Let's have a look. Oh, I just ripped it. That's disappointing. Yeah, this one's got a large crater in it as well. Yeah. Cool. Right. Question is, is this different compared to the other two flavours? Because um, if not, I'd probably just recommend go with the other ones because they seem to have less of this fat and salts in. Um, but if it does taste better, I'd, I'd recommend this to see what it tastes like. Right, this, <clears throat> oh, this is an interesting one. I'd say this 90% tastes like both the other cheeses, but after a few seconds, there's a little bit of a warmth in the back of your mouth, but nothing at all really that spicy. It's very mild. Um, all right, so this one, I'd say 90% tastes like both the other cheeses because it is the same cheese. Um, very mildly smoked, tastes a little bit rubbery. Um, not very doesn't really taste very strong of any sort of cheese um, and there's a very mild heat at the back of your, your back of your mouth afterwards but it's very mild I would but I am going to give this one a I'm also going to give this one a 5 they've all got out of 5 this doesn't quite make it into this as a 6 because it's just not different enough and I'd also probably recommend just going with the plain or the other one because this is it has slightly more fat and salts in i mean if if you care i don't know um but it's definitely the most interesting one tastes more it's more to it than the, the ham one over the plain one so yeah um so that's all of the cheeses i've got actually so if you're interested little this is not like a sponsored video or anything it's just me wanted to review cheese like like you do when you like what am I been doing reviewing cheese I've got exams in like a few weeks for like medicine I just I don't know it's more fun than that though this reviewing cheese is just it's quality um, so yeah all right uh, yeah so I will see you guys in my next video where I review a different cheese um, you're gonna see what that is I don't know what that is yet um, it should be exciting so subscribe do all your good stuff and in the next one